Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Tom Barron of Bristol. Welcome back to our third day together of Being the Church. I am Pastor Tom Barron, and I am from Grace Baptist Church in Bristol, Connecticut. And it is wonderful to be here. We're looking at devotion and our being the church. And today, as we look, we're going to talk about and see about being devoted to the Lord's Supper. Let's again start off in Acts 2, 42 through 47. They were continually devoting themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Everyone kept feeling a sense of awe, and many wonders and signs were taking place through the apostles. And all those who had believed were together and had all things in common. And they began selling their property and possessions, and were sharing them with all, as anyone might have need. Day by day, continuing with one mind in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, They were taking their meals together with gladness and sincerity of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord was adding to their number, day by day, those who were being saved. As we look at this, we want to ask the question, once again, we've asked it every day, what is the purpose of the church? And you know now, you can repeat it with me, to bring God glory. And Ephesians 3.21, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. As we see the early church here, they were devoted to the Lord's Supper. And this really is an intimate time of believers entering into an intimate time of remembering what the Lord Jesus did and will do. And I always think, and I, and I say, because when we participate in the, in the taking of the Lord's Supper, of the, of the symbols that it brings, the emblem that it is, this intimate time with Jesus should change everything that is going on around us in a way, because we should just block it out, and we're focused in on the goodness of the Lord, what he did, and what he has promised he will do. We're remembering all that the Lord has done. As we look in 1 Corinthians eleven twenty three through 25, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, in the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. When we are devoted to the Lord's Supper, as we are being the church, we're together as the church, but more importantly, we're gathered together in a time of intimate connection with Jesus. And that is so critical in being the church. And as we saw that in the early church, as they came together, Paul right there was repeating the words that Jesus gave him, the love, the compassion, the passion for which Jesus loved the church. Isn't it become incumbent on us then to be the church and be devoted to the Lord's Supper? Here's the question I want to challenge you with. Are we devoted to the Lord's Supper and all that Jesus did, and all that he has promised to do. Be challenged, be grateful, be devoted, as we are being the church. Lord, we thank you, we love you, we praise you, we give you all the glory. And Jesus, in your name we pray. Amen. You've been listening to Pastor Tom Barron of Bristol, and this has been Bread of Life a program to encourage you from God's Word.